I've, I know Marvin since he was youngster. I've loved him like that, but he, he was a live wire. Trust me. And he was game as a biker, right? And he's a character. He's been barred so many times and he's come down on his birthday. I've got him <laughs> back in Ministry of Sound, got him in. He's turned up this night. He bounces. He's loud. He's a bouncer. He's like, he's like a fucking kangaroo jumping about everywhere, all, like, all lively. <clears throat> I went, like, come on, get in. I said, come behave yourself tonight. I said, oh, like, they, they told me to ban you. Oh, I'd always let him in because like, I had that soft spot. It's the next thing I know, um, well, Fatty was there that night. You know, we were talking about the bomb, right? And he denies he was there. He come down with Dave Dunn to, to, to meet me. This is 1990. And he wanted a job on the door. And I went, I don't know you, mate. I said, like, I said, it's closed school. My, my, at my doorman, we've all grown up together. We all know our history. We're either football or on the streets. And we and I said, there ain't one person here. And I've done Dave, like, through West Ham. And he got, got and he went, I said, so there ain't a job here like that. But he's come down, like, with a, he's, he's probably in white shirt and black trousers, dressed like a doorman. Anyway, so I said, go inside and I'll have a walk round and have, have a night in there. But I said, I'm not, I'm not taking no one on at the moment. So he's gone in there. Next thing I know, the door would come out. Cole, Cole, I was at the front and on the radio, I was going, it's kicking off, it's kicking off, someone's been stabbed. So I said, someone's been stabbed like that. And I went, oh, what the fuck's going on here? Because ministry weren't really that tight of place for that to happen, you know what I mean? Unless I've done it, nah. <laughs> Joking. Um, so, uh, so I've sort of gone into the, the, the entrance and then a fucking scene, my doorman all grappling with, with Mar Marvin. And I thought, oh, fuck Marvin, of all people. Well, what the fuck? And he's like lost it. He's fucking like absolutely gone out of his nut. Like gone, gone. And he's got like, he said he's pulling like tools out, knives, fucking this and that. So I've got him, got him, I said, got him again, getting the thing. And it, uh, He's, he's gone to pull a blade out, CS gas, and, well, he told me oh, he had a fucking piece in his, his thing and he was going to pull it out. So I was, I was trying to get him hold him, and I, so I went to him like, he would not not listen, like, he fucking, and then he was going, ah, me, and all that. So there was a weird little cage thing where we kept everything on the side. So I just put, put him in the cage, in with me, and then I got, like, I took, well, I said it was nine by, he says next, whatever, whatever I grabbed. And I just went to him, and he, he was like, he was frothing in the mouth. He was like a rabid dog, honestly. You could not control that man. And I just fucking, and then everyone was trying to hit him and fight him. He was just fighting everybody, all the dog, but he didn't give a fuck. He was only, he just did not give a fuck. So I've just gone bang, 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 done him, like, and I thought, it's the only way to do it. I've got to fucking, I've got to do it. Because, like, it, I knew it was the only way to stop him. Because he would have, he would have killed someone that night. Then, I, so, he, he was gone and all that. So as someone I knew, I went to him, like, pull your car around the back exit. I said, get, his head was all split. I went, like, even though, like, like that, I went, make sure he gets to the hospital. And they pulled their car around and he got took out of the back exit, put in the car to go to the hospital for treatment. I thought, and, he went, and then I went, like, he went, he's the geezer who'd done the stabbing. I went, who's he stabbed? He went, remember the big fat geezer that come in, like, the big lump with the, the thing? He... There, there's a rag on on wherever it was. Then my doorman gone over to deal with it. He's made himself busy, gone over, <coughs> trying to act like a doorman. Marvin's gone to him, who the fuck are you like? And he went, blah, blah, blah. so he's gone bang, stabbed him in the stomach. But he ran out the back exit, pulled out the back exit, he got stabbed in the stomach. He denies that. Marvin knows it was him. I know it was him and all my doorman do. But when I've put it in the book, and I, which is in there that moment, I said, don't fucking tell you about all them, them days and all that, like where he was Mr. Fucking, Mr. Essex. And I, he went, no, he said, oh, what I've done, I, I was in Ministry of Sound. He said, I was walking back <coughs> and they all, five black geezers see me and there was a shop. And he said, they thought I was a, one of the doormen, right? So they tried to jump me, right, on his own, right? They, He's on the industrial site. There ain't even his shops. He went, they've got hold of him, punching him, and he, he put one through the fucking window. He's done another one. He's hit him, and they've all run off. Five black geezers. Could you imagine that? In South London, running off, and it's just him. And he said, that's what happened. And he said, and like, I got like cut. He said, that was from an opera. And he denies it's this day. And that is the truth. I will swear on my dad's ashes, as I look you in the camera. I wouldn't, I don't take his ashes like, I was fucking there and I know that happened. And that's another one of his lies. So that was Marvin who stabbed Burnley? Yeah. Why would they deny it? 
because he got done. He was, yeah, but he, 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 he thinks he's he thinks he's untouchable. He thinks he's like fucking this Mr. Hardman, but he's a dog.